you know Ozzy at all? Do you know Ozzy at all? Oh, you know Ozzy. Careful, Ozzy, he'll fall down. I'll go. You interview Ozzy. Ozzy, remember me? I'm the guy. Ozzy, I'm the guy who interviewed you today. <laughs> Ozzy, Ozzy's here for you. Wow, he's just here for me. I'm gonna leave. Are you really? Yeah, I'll leave. You go do your Ozzy thing. Ozzy, you stay here and do the show. How are you, Ozzy? I'm fine. You got to introduce you. Ozzy just wrote a book. No kidding. It's terrific. Ozzy hasn't read the book. No, no. But Ozzy, <laughs> Ozzy sat for a series of interviews, right. and it really is quite compelling, Ozzy's book. It's and they really put it good. together all about his life. It's good, and it's a good-looking book. Yeah, does it talk about biting the bat's head off? Yeah, yeah. but, but yeah. They, they, that's See? the big thing. Yeah. See? You're right. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Well, there's so much more to Ozzy than just the Oh, bat. I know. When you he know? met Sharon, and she was all chubby and round, and she worked at the manager's member. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Ozzy, you is, up, you did. There is story, you got it. You got it. I'll let you. I'll leave. But you got. Well, I, right, I have yeah, to go wait. back in my office and work. Oh, I can't sleep. Have a job? Uh, no, I go back and sleep. Oh, he has to go too. Oh, oh Ozzy, Ozzy can't be here go. either. Oh, he oh. came in for a photo. Oh, Ozzy oh. came in for a photo. All right, go ahead. Do a photo with Ozzy. All right. Uh, Ozzy, I'm no, glad to photo. see you. I'm glad to see you. you look so that, good. The last time was Madison Square Garden, Elton John's home. That's oh. right, and I sat right behind you. Yeah. Yeah, mm. you and Sharon, who I love. By the way, Ozzy is banging Sharon again. He's off to Viagra. Yeah. He's off the antidepressants. Yeah, you look good. You look healthy, Ozzy. Ozzy's fucking like a rabbit. It's yeah. unbelievable. And is Kelly good? Is Kelly with that blonde boy still? Yeah, we don't, we're not thrilled about that. Mm. Ozzy. Well, He's trying to help you, Ozzy. He's not doing it very well. Oh, yeah. Honey, listen. Ozzy, look at me. Ozzy. 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 Rosie's asking you. Yeah, I got a question. Ozzy. Is Kelly still dating? Oh, jeez. Somebody help Daddy. Is Kelly still dating the blonde boy? Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. Go. Let me, let me translate. Yes. Yes. Okay, I got it. I got it. All right. All right. Uh, but anyway, uh, you, you, want, you want me out of here? No, I don't want you out of here. Ozzy has to leave. Goodbye, Ozzy. I love you. See you later. Let me finish the story, then I'll leave. All right. Tell me the story. And then we have to talk about Is this that a great show. place to work? Look Come at Ozzy walks uh, in. Why can't we do this together? We lighten the load, Howard. So we lighten the load. So, uh, oh. listen to me. That Ozzy so you're on, you're on Letterman. Ozzy was on for a half hour. I don't know one thing he said. <laughs> <laughs> but it was great. I love Ozzy. I love he's, my, he's my guy. He's a good guy. So, uh, he's unbelievable. You know, he, um, his first wife gave him uh, cats. He mm -hmm. came out of rehab. She wanted, So she bought him a bunch of cats. Right. He took a gun and shot them all. Ugh. <laughs> and then he, they, she got him chickens, so he raised chickens. He went around, he shot all the chickens, and then chopped up one with a machete. Okay. He was crazed out He's of his He's had mind. a hard time, that guy. And then he tells me he just went out and bought a gun. I go, Ozzy, you shouldn't have a gun. This is a guy who failed his driving test 19 times. Yeah. And in other words, you have to take a test to yeah. drive a car. I know. He failed 19 times. Walked right in, hires a kite, and got a gun. Yes. So, you know, yeah. crazy stuff. And you know, Sharon has those little dogs too. Yeah, oh, yeah, she has those little Pomeranians he's, and he's Yorkies. A cha he's a change man. He's a change he's, man. He's, you he's, can tell. He's totally in love. His skin looks good. He's a great guy. I yeah. love him. I love. I do love Ozzy. He's a sweet man. And I love his music. But uh, you like show tunes. I like Ozzy. Okay, so you're on Letterman. So I'm on you're Letterman. Trying to Let me finish the story. Trying loud. to talk about. Okay. Well, he uh, he said, D, "How do you feel what you did to my?" Girlfriend. No way. Yeah, now this is in. Now I had done the first segment. We were leading up to the second segment. This is in the commercials. Oh. Now I is go, he angry with that face you just? Oh. Made? I, I go what? He goes. <laughs> uh, we, Good comeback. Like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. My uh, nine-year-old does that to me. Yeah. What? Well, he got me. He yeah. Got, what he goes, say? He goes. He goes. You know. I can't believe what you did to her. Do you know I left her crying in tears? Do you know how hurt she is? Do you know what she feels like? I hope you're really proud of yourself. I said, Dave, and they go, we're back. <laughs> Swear to God. Oh, just no. like that. Please tell me you went there. Did you go right there or you uh, slept there? Uh, you no, left? no, no, no. I was no. in a state of shock. Okay. I didn't know what to make of it. Right. I was just I go, oh, Dave just uh, uh, just had a really interesting conversation with me. And then he changed topics. And I walked out of there. I was frazzled. Man. Now, they wait. Was, Have you been asked back since then? Oh, a million times. Oh, a million times. Uh, yeah, I get them ratings. They could yeah, care if, if I... Um, if I killed someone, yeah. as long as I get ratings, they'll have me back. They don't care at all. One thing, though, since Dave's scandal, yeah. I wonder, I know I'm always invited on the show, but I wonder if Dave would be comfortable having me on, because I, I can't see me going on and not bringing not it up. You have to bring it up. It's a little too much ammunition for you right there to leave it, right? Do you want, you want a lot of them, right? Uh, a couple times. You don't like them? You know, it's not I don't like him. It's just that, like, I don't connect to him at all. It's like he doesn't try to, like, in the commercials, he's, there's nothing there. You, you can't right. grab into, you know. I, I mean, understand. So I try. You know, I've done it a bunch of times, and I, and 
he always they always ask for me to go back, but right. then I always end up, you know, he says something horrible about me, and then I'm like, forget it. Yeah, you know? Who needs the aggravation? Who needs it? Whatever. I'm too old. You got a hundred million. What do I you got? A hundred million, Howard. Hundred million. My God. <laughs> Although with those ten kids, I could be bankrupt in a day. Let me ask you something. Go ahead. All right, I'm going to leave because right. uh, well, listen, I don't know why. Because you had enough of me. No, I, I enjoy you. I think this is fun. You think this and is who fun? Who is this guy with the, with the little reporter? Are you a reporter? That's Steve Langford from Howard. One. Oh, I love that. I told him I want to rip that off from you, Howard. The Howard. I want to do news. rosy news, and we tried to do it, but you know what they did? Rig news. Well, I'll tell you like about the news. It can't be regular news. It has to be germane to the person. When I first got signed to Satellite, uh -huh. I started to imagine the channels and what they would sound like because I have my own channel. Right. And, uh, you know, I couldn't come on Satellite for a year. I was still uh, under contract to Terrestrial Radio. Right. And so I wanted to have a presence on the Satellite and start this thing up. I said, so how can we have the show without the show being on? So I'm taking a shower one day, and I, I'm just standing there, my mind blanks out, and all of a sudden I start hearing in my head the news, except the news isn't about anything but me. Oh. All news, all the time, just like the all news radio station, but I'm hearing the news, but it's all Howard Stern today. And in other news, Eric the Midget did this. No, uh, did you think you were having a stroke? No. <laughs> no? I started to think this, I started to listen to the radio show in my head. And I said, this is fantastic. That's a good idea. We're going to have Howard 100 News. And my fans don't care. You can get the regular news anywhere. You can tune to yeah. CNN, See, to this Fox. This is what you I tried to explain to them. I said, my fans want to hear the news about the Howard Stern Show. Like the Tiger Woods beauty pageant. And so I came over here one day. I stopped in, and I started to talk to a guy named Walt Sabo at the time was working here. Jeremy Coleman, who you work with. Yes, yeah, so I I had several meetings with Jeremy, and we started talking. I tell them about this Howard News, that I, I have this idea, this plan. How did you come up with this plan? Oh, I'm in the shower, I'm yeah. nude, you know, yeah. I don't want to think about my body, it's right. not all that great. <laughs> so I, you know, and, and so it became clear to me that the glue that would hold my channel together would be the Howard 100 News Department. Smart idea. And we hired the guys who do the news for uh, WINS and WCBS AM. And then we brought in a guy like Steve Langford and um, Lisa G. These were all real top-notch reporters. Right. And all day long, they scour the universe for things going on in the Howard Stern world. Right. If High Pitch Eric gets arrested, it's on the news. It's a lead story. Yeah. The people in my world are the top. All right. Now, let me ask you something. Did you let them cover the Artie thing? Uh, yes. You in did. fact, well, I'll, I'll be honest with you. At first, no. Yeah. It, it was, was too such, hard. It was too hard. Yeah. It was so startling. And I said to the news department, and I, and I rarely, I think Steve will tell you this, maybe two or three times since we've been on the air, have I ever made a request. Right. Um, for some reason, I felt this was such a private matter. And I happen, we happened to hear about Artie's suicide attempt. And it hadn't hit the paper. And the family was trying to keep it quiet. They right. were desperate for some sort of peace. And I said, I don't think we should uh, go on the Just air. Just leave it alone. As soon as it became mainstream, and uh, because we, we had access, that's how we knew about it. We wouldn't have had that access right, otherwise. Right. So it was so sensitive, and, and Artie is such a good friend, and Artie is such a, a dear, sweet guy, and I, I hope he's okay. Have you talked to him? Yes. You have? Yeah. Because I spoke to his sister. Right. I put in a little feeler there to see, you know. I have a lot of compassion for that guy. I read his book and like seeing him, and I've been watching a lot of the tapes of you with him. And mm -hmm. somebody on the internet made a thing hurt with the song. Fabulous. But you know what, Howard? When he started to cry one time, and you got up and went over to him, yeah. it was heartbreaking to watch it. And you know, I just hope that he knows that even though it feels to him sometimes that there's no safety net, there is, and there are people who care about him, who love him, and who understand. Well, yep. I, yeah, I spoke to him, and uh, it was a difficult conversation because yeah. I can't wrap my head around that Artie. Yeah. My Artie would do this to himself. That's right. And uh, Artie is a terrific guy, such a super talented guy, and, you know, he hurt himself, and he tried to check off the planet. And I can't wrap my head around that. I, I, I can't even believe it's the same guy I sat there with. And for him to be so sad and to be so, so in such a low place to do this to himself, mm -hmm. Uh, I, you know, this is the real deal. This right. is, this is, this Did is you tell him how it made you feel? No, I, I'll tell you the truth. Uh, we spoke on the phone, mm -hmm. and uh, he was in a facility. It's very hard. He's surrounded by a lot of people when he speaks because the, the way it's set up, the phone is public. Right. And uh, Artie just, you know, it, it was tough. I said, hey, Artie. I got, first thing I said, any good-looking girls there? Right, right. And he's like, yeah. yeah. I d d d these kind of answers. Yeah, so yeah. it was almost well, like... Probably a lot sedated and stuff. Yeah, yeah. and for yeah. two minutes we had a very... It, I'd say it lasted two minutes. Right. It was very awkward. Right, right. And I, and I hope it'll be okay.